Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with your host, Socrates. Today we're going to take a look at a nice piece of freeware that you can make your own train sets, the Simple Computer Aided Railway Modeler. You can download it for free and you can use it to set up your own train sets and practice how to lay out and make sure everything fits. And we're working on the time saver. This channel is about my journey on creating a time saver. And uh, at the moment, so far all I've gotten is uh, this simulation. I have the parts on order and I'm going to be building it out of fast tracks. I'm going to hand make all the train I've made almost everything myself except for the locomotive and I'm going to be building the tracks out of fast track jigs. They have libraries here that have different makes and models and so I've selected the fast tracks and the atlas. So you have to create a starting point and I'm basically building this out of a number six turnouts and so I'm selecting the turnout and then you have to pick which way into the turnout you go and there's three of them and either from the behind or from one of these two sides and since I know what I'm trying to build is basically this simple time saver that's what the track is called I'm, it's not it doesn't save time <laughs> it kinda wastes time but nonetheless and then in this case if you hold it straight without an angle you'll just get a nice straight piece and I know I want this to be 100 or close enough to 100 you have to split it so when you click on it and then you split it and then you can remove it the red is where you're going to be building from and again I know that this is only 200, so this is why I went with the, the length of it. Because I want it to be 200, so once you highlight it, and then we split it, and then we can erase the end piece of it. And we have our 200. And that's the end of one edge of the time saver. I guess I could have shown what it looks like earlier. Maybe I was smart and did I edit that in so you saw what we're trying to build because that would probably made it more clear from your perspective. Does that work? Yeah, okay. So what this basically has is it has a runaround which is a, a way of switching from one side of the train to the other side. Now, I'm intrigued to trying to figure out how to make this. In the middle because here is where the runaround turn comes off. Okay, so I'm trying to I'm basically just trying to put this where I want it. I'm going to move it to the proper place. About there. Get rid of the flux track and combine it using flux track. And this creates the runaround. And if you hit the space bar, it will put the previous thing that you had. You'll notice when you're doing this with the length, you have two numbers showing up right there on the thing. One is a length and the other is the angle. And as the angle goes to zero, you just have the length. So in this case, I want I did 55. I want this whole thing to be about 200. 
but I want to leave a little extra for the curve. I'm going to try to make sure they don't hooker that up. Highlight it and then split it and then erase the tip. This is the process I've been doing. And you can check your length of things by hitting, right clicking it in the length and it's two, 224 and that's what I wanted about 200 and a little extra here. There were about 200 on the ads. And then we have another straight out 200 off this end. Go a little bit more straight just to make sure. And then our end's 200. And then we're almost done. We have one last piece of track to do on the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. It only has was it five turnouts, four lefts and a right. They're all number sixes. Oops. Again, he hit spacebar for the previous thing which in this case was not the flex, care, flex track. If I just split on this side the, of the circle, that'll keep it straight too. That seems to be an easier way to do it. And the last piece is another 300 over here. I'll take it out to 305. And all I'm doing at that point is moving the cursor to one side to get the tip all the way to the end of it. And when you hit this right hand slash, there is a time saver layout. You have a runaround and five spur tracks. This is a shunting puzzle. You have five look five cars on it and one engine and you pick some random cards to put the to give a destination for your trains and it gives you something to do and you can shunt a railroad, which is a different way of doing model trains. And something I didn't really know very much about. And he'll drive over there and he'll lock up. And the way it generally works is you would have cards and you would have to decide you want to put this one over here. Oh, that's one of the problems when you set it up that it doesn't always, it doesn't always put the cards in such a way that they're not in the way. That's what I was concerned about with this being too close to the track. That's what's the beauty of this program is that it allows you to test and see how everything's going to work. Now there's still, there's only supposed to be room for two over here and I happen to pick two very very short wagons which is really easy to test with but uh, I didn't put them, they, when they set down they don't go always to the back and a lot of times you'll have to at least move them and then you uncouple by clicking on it and that's why I turn it from, from uh, the colors. Why does it keep going back? Oh, I'm still moving, that's why. I kept backing into it. And you can use the greater than or less than signs to change this as well, which is, I find, easier. But anyway, that is essentially how the uh, 
the SCARM system works. That's how you would build yourself a little train layout. And you click on these things to switch them. And I'll do another video where I'll actually run the time saver all the way through, but I think that's probably more than enough for today. And uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like and subscribe for more of it. And slowly, this will become a reality. At the moment, it's just a piece of software. But I'm going to, I'm going to build one of these things. And my plan is to actually make a modified one because I'm going to add an angle nook Y out of here which is another switch, another uh, shunting puzzle. So I'm going to combine the two shunting puzzles together and it's a, more of a point-to-point -point industry layout. And again, it still will be very, very small, but it will be uh, more fun and it'll have, have more potential. So anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon. My name is Socrates and this is Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains.